It's gonna have to be a lifestyle swing. I had previously run my wardrobe six monthly, so I would go pull it all out. I used the changing of the clocks here in the UK, so March and October as my like signal to get my seasonal stuff out and switch it all over. But it still was feeling too much, too overwhelming, too much stuff, but there wasn't really a huge amount I wanted to get rid of. I already had a fairly minimal collection, but season to season it kind of felt a, still a little bit too overwhelming. And I decided to go from a six month to a three month, which is also known as the 333 project. Well, how I'm doing it is also known as the 333 project. And I did a video, should still be up somewhere, um, about getting that sorted for the first three months. And this is the end of that first block. So the end of December in theory. So we're a couple of days over, but that doesn't matter. It's, what is it today? It's the 5th of January. So I am going to go back through and uh, there are a couple of bits I'd already taken out and um, I realised weren't like there was maybe something in the wash so it was probably it did average out about 33 items. I also have a Christmas dress and a Christmas jumper that came out with the Christmas decorations that I only have out in December. Decided that those aren't going to be included in so those two items in theory would have taken me over. However I did keep a dress out in the 33 items that I then decided to sell when I tried it on twice and still wasn't right for me. Um, lovely dress, just not right for me. Um, and that was in my 333 and then it decided to be sold. So <laughs> make it that way you want. Um, and there are a couple of other bits. So I'm sure I've worn less than the 33 items. However, what I did discover is I probably wore more different clothing items having less significantly. I wore more things significantly bigger variety, significantly large number of different outfits, having less than when I had more stuff out. However, I know everything in my seasonal boxes isn't just summer things. I have two clean up the boxes that this <laughs> of seasonal. Um, and I also have some of my, my coats I've split in half. Um, now the original 333 that I was following didn't I thought it didn't include accessories and stuff I have since read the whole book as well which is really good I did really like it I do feel like there was a lot of padding and repeating of it and someone's review on Goodreads said um I feel like this book should have just been a blog post and actually it did start out as a blog post and it was nice to read all those extra bits and I suppose if you were reading the book while doing the process you'd probably forget bits whereas I read it in quite a short space of time and so when there were bits that were quite repetitive I read it all together which probably did not help but I still really like the book and I still gave it five stars I think maybe four four or five stars I, I still thought it was really good and really worth the read and it wasn't too long and um, I always find that with books when when they've padded and it's too long, then you're just like, oh, this is a bit ridiculous. Whereas sometimes I understand that to publish it, you kind of need to get it to a certain word count, but it's a really good concept. So it's kind of worth the extra words. Um, anyway, uh, how I'm going to start is going to go through the 33 items that I've got. So 33 items for me did not, I did not include my coats, my shoes, my gym kit, pyjamas, socks and underwear, work, or my painting clothes. So it was literally, which then it doesn't sound so bad, does it? It's like 33 items to just do normal life, which for me is this, I'll open up in a minute. Um, but it should have included, if you do it by the original rules, it should include shoes, I think it's meant to include shoes, coats and accessories, which I didn't quite manage that time. So <laughs> I think I'm going to stick with what I did for the first one, just to get a feeling for it. Um, however, I did notice that during the first block, with certain areas of my wardrobe being already reduced down, I naturally didn't want to have as much stuff in the other areas as well and I have put a couple of coats away and I've actually put a coat up for sale that I didn't think I'd ever let go of it's a really nice one it's lovely 
it's quite traditional it will go through many seasons but I just I just never wear it I just never wear it um, I've got a coat that will do nicely as my smart coat and um, that I definitely don't want to get rid of because it's also sentimental and will go over more layers and I was just like well this is a bit silly so I have actually let go of a coat in there too um, <laughs> but the other bits and pieces I haven't there's a couple of things that I also think is quite tricky um, where you've got two items that are imperfect like if you bought you could buy one item that would do what those two items do but until one of those two items breaks beyond repair there's just no point um one of them is a I've got a body warmer that I wear loads I really love it's a lovely walk one um for either end of the season or an extra layer under a season it's got good size pockets for walking it's got a high collar um it's lovely um and I wanted to replace it because I've had it a long time and actually when there's like a zip so you can get between the two layers and like the inside of one of the piece of fabric is crumbling because it is so old. Um, and I replaced it with this lovely body warmer but it doesn't do the same job. It works really well as an additional layer but it is very fitted, it's very tailored. You can just get your hands in the pockets, but you're a bit like this, a bit snug in there. Whereas this one's a bit more chill. Um, but I do also love that one, so I'm not going to get rid of either. I use both. They both serve a purpose. I'm a little bit bigger weight-wise than I would normally be as well. So it's probably a little bit snugger um, than I'd like it to, which means it's not as good for the more relaxed walks. But it is great as an additional layer if I'm going to be having everything zipped up as well. So I do find that sometimes you've got items like that that you need to wait until one or both wear out and then replace them with a single item. And I think the more you reduce down in other areas, the better you become at making those decisions for items going forward. Um, and life has changed since I bought both of those items. The really old one, the pale blue one, I bought when I lived in Cornwall. Um, completely different way of life. I had a dog, so I needed bigger pockets because I had dog leads in, I needed to fit my dog lead in one and my poo bags and treats in the other. And um, and then when I got the white one, I lived in London, I wanted something quite smart and tailored and I had a smart jacket that I put over the top of it, whereas I, I rarely do that now. Um, so different phases of life and I think it's important to not have the judgment that you're like oh I bought the wrong thing I didn't buy the wrong thing I bought the right thing at that time the right thing at that time the fact is that in this phase of my life I need a hybrid but I'm not going to go out and buy it until one of those two coats has completely fallen apart the blue one the older one is the one I wear more and it literally is crumbling on the inside it hasn't broken through so it's showing anywhere because it's between the two light it's between the lining and the outer so that's fine um, and when that goes what I might look if is if the other one is sellable condition sell the other one and, and get a hybrid um, product in the middle and um, so I think sometimes when you're restricting yourself by number it can be tricky to make those kind of decisions so that for me is why I didn't want to include coats and I have a similar thing with shoes I haven't got a huge number of shoes but I have some that fall into two categories, uh, like uh, two that they cross over in purpose, but neither one does what both do until one completely dies. There's no point. Um, and often the shoes that I love are ones I've had for a long time. So they haven't really got any resale value. I've sold a couple of pairs that I had crossover with and um, because they were still in really good condition and they'd have a pretty good resale. But when they're really fairly worn, it's just not all. There are certain brands and things, like some of the Clark's ones, they last really, really well, but a Clark's adult shoe doesn't necessarily have a massive um, resale, like maybe something, um, what's the fancy ones, Louboutin or something like that. Um, anyway. Welcome to my wardrobe. Um, so my aim is I would like all of mine and my daughter's to fit in here which is not far off if I didn't hang my bags in my wardrobe so um, because she doesn't have that much stuff either um, but these are my 33 items and then I have those were included in my 33 but I did not include shoes however what I have decided I'm going to do is remove the summer shoes and pack those away with my seasonal items um 
There's no room in the seasonal items box, but their fan adult fancy dress box has had a few things removed. <laughs> so there is now space in there. Um, because it's just, I don't know, overwhelming, depressing. See summer shoes in winter when you can't wear them anyway. Um, so I wanted to, yeah, I thought I'd just take them out of circulation. So those I'll be bagging up. I've kept some shoe bags out. Um, we, I always keep some fabric drawstring bags for packing shoes if we go on holiday and we need to pack shoes and suitcases and stuff. So I've kept those out to be able to pack some of those away. Um, I can't 100% remember what's up here. Oh, that sort of additional bits of my hair dryer and some very unexciting jewellery. Um, that is swimwear, which I did reduce down. Um, I think there's two bikinis I want to decide. I want to keep a bikini out, but I haven't decided which one. So I think I kept the two out and then never got around to trying them on. Um, and specialist sports equipment-esque clothing that's not going anywhere. Um, I'll leave that out, open the door. Um, bags, again, similar thing with bags. I've got, so this one, and then I've got another one hung up over there that have crossover, but I can't do everything with both of them. Um, they both get used for sort of work or going out for the day if I want something slightly smarter than just shoving a rucksack on. But that one is a lot bigger than that one. That one I can put a towel and be, go to the beach in and stuff, whereas I wouldn't take that one to the beach. But that one's also not quite smart enough to be a smart work bag. So if I've got a smart work event, I take that bag. And it's just like, mm, it gets a little bit... I've only got one, like casual smaller bag and then two clutches a, a, a light coloured and a dark coloured clutch and um, so again not oh and a dancing clutch so I have three clutches but I don't think that's too bad it's two casual bags two work bags and three clutches feels like a lot when I consider how few items of everything else I have but hey hey um so there's that and then I'm gonna have to turn you so we come over to here. Uh, this this bad boy here is for sale. It's a beautiful one. That I up, up. It's just us. That's right. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful beast in the middle. Um, I upcycle furniture with my partner. If you didn't know. Um, then this chest of drawers. Top layer is underwear and pajamas. There's not really anything in there. Um, that's gonna change. A couple of pairs of socks have gone through. Um, I had one sock in one pair and one in another pair, but they're the, they're the same socks, they're just one's pink and one's purple, so I'm going to have a pink and purple pair. This is why it's always quite useful to keep ones that, um, if you've got sets, well similar pairs, um, I've got this exact set in purple, and this a hole went through on this, and I got them at the same sort of time, I think, that, I think these are probably going to go quite soon too. But if I can get them to last... The other ones went through really badly in a place I couldn't repair. What I might be able to do is if I put a couple of stitches in this. They might. I just want them to get through to the end of the winter because then I won't need them for months. Um, sleep socks. Uh, there's nothing else in here that's going to go. What's that? Oh, <laughs> that's why I got confused. And there you go. There, there we go. Right. Couldn't find. No, I got. Anyway, there was a there was a whole confusion earlier. What I am going to change is I am taking some pajamas out of here. I've decided to split my pajamas into winter and summer. Even though most of, apart from one set, there's like one set that I will only wear in summer, and um, everything else I wear all year round. So I just thought I just have less in my drawer. So I've decided I'm going to keep my this phase that I'm already going to keep my two long long sleeve long bottom ones um, and a long one longer nighty because sometimes even when it's hot I'd rather I, I like quite like a nighty with a big baggy jumper over the top kind of thing I just I just basically want to live in big baggy jumpers that's the thing um so keep all that in the top one um, my next one down is all hair and makeup this used to go over like two and a bit drawers <laughs> I've condensed it down and I've repacked it. Um, I don't think there's anything that will be coming out. I think 
pretty much everything has been used in here. The one exception is I still can't make up my mind about these. I still use them sometimes and then don't and then, ugh. but I used to wear them loads. Um, and I think it, part of it was that they just weren't visible enough and I forget. Um, so maybe, maybe I might, put, I might relocate them to my gym bag and see how that works. Okay. No clothes in there. Uh, that's all gym kit. So while I'm not going to include my gym kit and my 3T3, what I do want to put together is three gym outfits um, and be that, that that's it for this three months. I'm saying three gym outfits for three months and put the rest away. That is what I would like to do. <laughs> um, and we'll see. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it works. Um, yeah. Now I've said that, I might do three gym outfits and one run kit because I know if I pack all my running stuff away, because I don't like running when it's cold, I will want to go for a run. So let's put, I'll put a run kit together and, and three gym outfits and put the sets together and keep them together, I think is going to be my plan yeah that's the plan um and gym jumpers that's that's but i'm gonna do that I'm not doing that now I'm just but i will do that in this month um this is workwear and then painty wear because of the furniture and diying and arts and crafts and stuff um but again i think i probably have too much um my work drawer is kind of just sort of built up it's it's Things that got a bit too tatty for, it's not my smart work where I would wear something from here for meetings or conferences or networking things would come from here. Um, but for in-person working with clients, I kind of have a drawer of stuff that's not quite painty messy, but I don't mind if it gets damaged type stuff. But I think it's got to a point where I've got too much and I need to go through and, and again, put together three outfits, maybe just two actually probably three, three outfits that are um, packed together as an outfit. Um, and then the bottom one is the Land of Magic, which is big jumpers. And I do tend to wear them all. Um, I feel like they should probably be included, although a lot of people say don't include loungewear if you're doing Project 333. I'm undecided and I think some of that will come out when I plan my gym kit on how I want to work that. At the moment I'm not going to include it in my 3C3. Jumpers like this I do, ones that I store, basically if I store it on a hanger usually I include it and um, if it's one of the balls I literally just roll them around my arm and put them in the drawer. Um, jumpers, these ones down here. Um, and my sleep pajama and uh, my sleep jumpers so they're a lot of like lounging around the house I quite often get slept in jumpers but occasionally also get worn to the gym jumpers <laughs> um extra layer in cold weather type jumpers but i would like to include them in my 33 but i'm not gonna put that burden on it and it might be that I subcategorize them and I decide which ones are going to specifically be my gym jumper and which ones are going to be my sleep jumpers. And, um, and the other ones will have to go in my 333. That might be a, that might be a thing we do. So the easiest one to do is shoes because I know, um, oh, keep thinking it would be nice to have some poolside shoes in my gym bag. And this is what these were for. So I might, I'm gonna relocate those to my gym bag and see if they get worn enough. And if they don't, then they can go into the summer stuff too. All of these are gonna go into summer stuff. So what I've got is these bad boys over here. Just from years ago, you can get them from everywhere. I'll be popping those into those. So. Just gonna pause the video while I do all that and also I need to change my battery in the camera. So I didn't just do the shoes <laughs> because 
it turned out my spare battery was not charged. So <laughs> I managed to do, I've put the shoes away. I've also sorted the gym kit out, which I said I would do. I've also sorted out the work uniforms. So I've got three work uniforms and they all have the same logo on sitting at the top. It looks very pretty. And I've got a work jumper, like a more casual work jumper, as opposed to if I was going smart and wear from here. Um, and made a lot of space. There's a drawer and a half space in my chest of drawers now, which is great. Because, um, let's see, it's quite a big chest of drawers. There's a drawer and a half space in there now, um, which I think should mean I can relocate my bags. I've moved my bags out of here just for the moment, but it should mean that I can relocate my bags um, out of there, as well as hopefully sorting out these ones at the top as well. But let's come over to here. So what I have done is I've pulled a couple of bits out of there that I really feel should be included in my 33 items, if I'm gonna really say I'm doing Project 33. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this lot first and see which of these I think should remain um, as yeses, which are maybes and which are definite noes. Um, so I'm going to start with this one. Um, this was my seasonal dress um, for um, like we went out at Christmas and Christmas parties and work things, um, school event. I wore it for that. I love this dress, it is wonderful, it is a great colour um, to make it a bit more wintry and the texture of the fabric that's also really light, so I absolutely adore this dress. I will definitely be keeping it, but I don't know if it will be going back in for next season. Um, I might keep a, a different smart dress out. I have zero intention of going anywhere that would require that kind of dress in the next three months, um, so it might be that I just don't put anything like that in and hope for the best. Um, that was a jumper dress, um, again, it's a maybe. I did wear it, so both of those got worn. I wore that one twice. Um, it's not quite as soft as I would like it to be. I'm very, very funny with my, with my textures. Um, this one I absolutely love. It's a great dress, I can put layers underneath it. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's gonna stay in the yes pile. And um, what do we got here? These ones, again, super, super versatile. I can wear them for work, but they are super comfy. And uh, they're gonna stay in the yes. There's two of those. That's how good they are. If you like it, get it in two sizes. I don't have to wear a bra. There's like built-in support. They're just wonderful dresses. Um, they're from Ralph Lauren, but um, they're the Lauren Ralph Lauren range. So they're actually quite a good price. They're stretchy, they fit me in lots of different sizes. There's nice ruching over the tummy if there's something I'm worried about. I just oh, love those dresses. Um, I've had them for a long time, um, so definitely a worthy investment. Um, this is another one that's Lauren Ralph Lauren. So you get the ones you like, don't you? Again, had it a ridiculously large amount of time because I wore this when I was pregnant. So this is at least six years, six and a half years old. I didn't get it for pregnancy but it's quite a nice length, so um, it's good in the winter, colder months. So I think that's probably gonna be a yes as well. Ah, da -da -da -da. I think I only wore this once, but again, would be a yes. It's a lovely warm layer. Um, oh, now I'm looking at my yeses, I'm kind of thinking I might change my mind. Um, oh, love this skirt, staple all year round. It's like a t-shirt fabric, double lined. Um, annoyingly, when I dyed it between the two lines, there seems to be some bobbling on the fabric in between the two layers of fabric. Um, it was baby pink, spilled lots of stuff down it, dyed it navy so I could reuse it. Absolutely love that skirt. This is going to be a no, straight away, it's a quick no. I wore it once, um, a bit too big in here at the moment, so it wasn't, it fits, but it's not comfy, um, and it just felt a little bit short for the winter. Um, because I don't wear tights. So it either needs to go with leggings, and it looked a little bit like teeny, trying to wear leggings with a skirt this short, felt a bit odd, um, and uh, it was too cold without any, so that is going to be a no. I think that would be a spring-summer um, one. I'll try it with maybe the spring-summer and see what happens there. Trousers. 
keep them all on the same hanger. This does, multi hangers don't work for everyone. Um, for me, trousers are fine, so there's not too many. I've got two pairs of jeans. I only own two pairs of jeans. A smarter one or casual one, I'll be keeping both of those. These are going to be a no. They are too thin. I am undecided. They might be nice for spring. I have a feeling those might go, but I'm not making that decision now. Um, and then I have my purple maroony leggings underneath and then I have blue leggings on that will be going in. So that'll be my four pairs of trousers. I'm not gonna hang them up there because it's really heavy. <laughs> uh, this one I love, it matches my branding. It goes really nicely under jumpers. Um, it's nice and floaty and light and I just, I love this top. It's very nice, I've had it a long time. Um, I think it's silk. It was Reese, um, as I've had a long time. That is a strappy top that will be a yes. Um, love, love, love. But I don't think I've worn this. I don't think I've worn this. This is my favourite speaking top, though. Um, again, because I don't have to wear a bra with it which always makes me happy because there's enough fabric going on that it just kind of hides nipples and whatever. Um, and it's really light and breathable. What would I wear if I was going to have a speaking thing now? What would I wear? That's the question. So that's going to go in the maybes. Um, oh, love, love, love. Big pop of colour. Yes, I did wear it. Um, and I think I'd probably wear it again. Yeah, it's particularly if I'm not gonna have a nice dress in the collection, this with some jeans is quite jazzy and I can do like a necklace thing. So that's going to be, yes. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna be a yes. I haven't got very many tops, so. I think that's going to be a yes. I think that'll be a yes. Um, again, works really nicely as a layer, but because it's got a long thing, it's quite works quite. It's a top, but it's got a longer thing, so it works quite good with different jumpers on it. And as particularly as I'm somebody who spends a lot of time in leggings, sometimes it's nice to just have a bit more hanging down. Um, so you'll see a lot of my tops have often got longer backs, and that's because I'm always in leggings. Um, this ended up in here because it was in my project box. It got a stain down it. It was white. I've um, got a stain down it, so I put it in when I dyed some clothing. So now it is pale blue, and this is going to be a no for the next season because I know I will wear it a lot in the summer, so it would be a silly waste for it to be in this season. I don't think I'd wear it. So there's that. This ended up as being used jumper under jumper. It did get worn, it was really nice, so I'm pretty sure that will be a yes too. Oh, this will be a, oh, actually, no, I would probably, mm. no, realistically, I've got jump. So this could go over some of the dresses that I'm keeping out, but it's more if I put a nice, smart, it depends what smart dress I pick, if I pick one at all, because this works nicely with those. Um, so this is going to be a maybe, it depends what else comes out. Because at the moment there is a huge amount I'd wear it with. I could wear it with those dresses, but I know that I would go for one of my jumpers if I did. This is going to be a no. I don't know why I kept it out. It's much more spring summer. So that was a fail, a epic fail. Um, a yes, because it definitely won't be in spring summer. It's really comfy, I really like it. Um, and it's one of my few, few colourful ones. Uh, I use this quite a lot when I'm doing online workshops and things because it is my branding colours. So I guess in theory you could probably call it work jumper, but um, it's more like smarter, semi-smart thing. But also I love the colour. Um, and this one, again, lovely, thick, warm, just fabulous. I love a navy jumper, can you tell? Um, I've also had, hmm, I'm missing one of my fate must be hung up in the drying pile. It's got to be somewhere. I have a jumper that I absolutely love that isn't 
here another navy jumper um that will be a yes because it can't possibly be a no um oh. so i have two navy strappy tops one i've got on um one is in the wash so i know those will be included this i can't make up my mind about it's quite handy with some of my nicer dresses but i'm not going to be doing any nicer dresses anytime soon um so it's whether i want to keep it out as another vest see how i do because it's kind of I feel like it's more underwear. Maybe if I put it in my underwear section, when I go and get a bra, I get this out instead. Let's try that. Also, though, it's not one of the 33, isn't it? So, um, I don't have bra bras. I only have these soft cotton things. I don't like proper bras. I can't do with bras. And then I've got three here that are more casual because you, you need a slogan top, right? Apparently. It's the only one I've ever liked. Um, this is a base layer, but it's quite nice if I've got a thick jumper that makes it look a bit smarter, I just stick this on underneath and it's got really long sleeves with finger holes and stuff, so if it's really cold. But I don't tend to wear it for working out because it's too tricky to get on and off, So and it pulls my headphones out, so I don't want to wear it as my top layer for the gym. It actually ends up, even though it's a gym top, being worn as a base layer for life. And then this big jumper was in my big slouchy jumpers, but I will wear it out a lot. So I feel like it should be in my 33, like that. Um, the other one, if you watched the other video when we did the 33 with these bad boys, I couldn't make up my mind. I have worn these loads now, worn them loads. I think the fact that I spent less time picking out my clothes meant I could spend more time picking out my shoes. And I, I wore these a lot. I wore these for day events, evening stuff school, nativity, everything. I just, I absolutely love them. I think because I don't wear tights and they are really high, like, like not high heels, but the arms are really high. They were a big win. So those are definitely not going anywhere. Okay. So I have some navy knee highs, some black thigh highs and some black ankle boots in here. And apparently a load of fluff as well. Um, and then this had my strappy tops in. So I could see those as my, so I think they're probably my base layers. I think I had some strappy tops and a blue t-shirt as well. But I, the t-shirt has now been moved to my painting section and won't be in there. So I think the best first step is to see how many we've got now before we jump into the other boxes of the yeses. Many jumpers. So one, because don't forget to count me wearing, one two my other one that's downstairs or somewhere that i love that's somewhere that means i've got four navy jumpers so one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven Trousers takes us to 15, including the ones I'm wearing. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. There's a lot of jumpers going on. Love a big jumper. So 21, no, I don't have 21. 22, but I'm going to put that in the, the pot down here. 22, 23 is this strappy top, other strappy top is 24. 25. Okay. That's not bad. Um, Uh, top, top, top. There. So we are at 25. So even if I get 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, my other trainers downstairs. 
but I definitely I'm not going to be wearing most of those shoes out anytime soon but particularly when I look at the kind of clothes that I've uh, packed up um, I think smart dress wise if I needed a smart going out dress I could just wear this one it'd be fine um, but we'll see we'll see what else is in the box so I've now forgotten what I've got to. What did I get to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-five. I'm at twenty-five. That's good. That's good. Right. Um. As I said, I'm not including my shoes in this one, so that's fine. Um, so those are my nose. I've still got a few maybes up here. Um, I think that's that's more a yes than a maybe. Oh, and it needs to go in the wash either way. <laughs> it's got a stain on the bottom of it. Um, right. So now I have my seasonal boxes to check. Um, because some of this is some of this is definitely that's definitely summer. Um, that's definitely summer. I don't even know if that will be a keep. That's the summer. That's the summer. These trousers I love, and if I'm gonna wear them, it'll be this kind of season. Um, I'm not sure if they will fit me at the moment. That's true. <laughs> wearing just leggings, isn't it? No, I think they are a smidgen. Like, they would do up, but I wouldn't be comfy in them. I am particularly bloated, but also a little bit over where I want to be at the moment. Mm, that's a tricky one. Otherwise, it's a whole other year. Or I'm gonna wear them. They're a really classic cut. I've had them for a long time and they're not gonna go out of style. I'm gonna put that in a maybe. I really thought those would be coming out for this season, but no point if they don't fit. That's spring, summer. Um, there's quite a few things that are just a little bit snugger than I'd like them to be at the moment. So this is what we're going through here. This is what we're going through here. Um, so I think everything else is summer because I put it towards the bottom. Oh, okay. So, a lot of this box isn't actually anything to do with what it says on things. So it says spare, spare linen and towels, but it became a bit of a uh, overflow. And I thought it was full. It's not. It's got some big things underneath it. So there's not as many clothes in here as I thought there were. That's good. Um, oh, I think I will bring